Welcome to Instrumentation Triple E Tutorials. Today we are talking about what should be the data sheet for procurement of pressure gauge. So this is pressure gauge. So if you are working in oil and gas industry, then you always think about it that what should be the data sheet for procurement of the pressure gauge. So in today video we will talk about what should be the data sheet for the procurement of the pressure gauge in industrial instrumentation so so this is our content which we will cover here so first we will talk about some general specification then we will talk about some process related specification then sensor related specification then what should be the construction of the pressure gauge and what should be the accessories that can be used and others required certificate and some others our terms are also included in data sheet of the pressure gauge. The first we are talking about the journal. So in our data sheet first you should write your tag. Tag of your pressure gauge and they should be include your unit tag number also. Now the second point is your tag description means if you are writing that PG1137 and if you if this PG is installed in oil line or lube oil line then you always write lube oil gauge so this is the description then service oil yes service is oil or it may be steam or it may be some other fluid you can write your service here then area classifications area classification means zone 1 zone 2 zone 0 or some other second C, second A and temperature. Others specification if you uh, don't know hazardous area classification then we will cover in our next video where we will talk about hazardous area classification where you can learn about what is the zone, what is the second C, second A group and etc. So in area classification where you have to write down all the hazardous area classification related terms. Now, fifth number point is line material. Means, you are, this is your line and this is pressure gauge. So, what is the line of your uh, material? Means, the pressure gauge material should be compatible with this line material because sometimes your uh, line may be PVC, UPVC or some other uh, SS316 or CS it may be so your pressure gauge and connection should be compatible with these type of material so that it will not uh, get damaged and also it will work as per your requirement so this point very important now the process connection bottom or half NPT see the connection of this case this is a bottom connection bottom connection and half half quarter there are many uh, threaded connections and NPT, National Pipe Thread. So this should be also mentioned because some thread connection are, are also available in NPT. Some are also available BSP. So you should mention what is your connection available for installing the gaze. So this is the first general specification of the Preser gaze. Now the second point is process related. This is also very important because these data is required from process side because you are going for purchasing the pressure gauge then the all the specifications which are required from operation or process side then you have to fill here. Process fluid we have seen oil. If you are purchasing a pressure gauge for lube oil then it, it will be oil maximum operating pressure and maximum operating temperature this is very important minimum normal and maximum so if you are uh, purchasing pressure gauge for lube oil then you should talk about and you should also have the knowledge of your lube oil lube oil pressure lube oil discharge pressure yes lube oil discharge pressure so minimum maximum and normal Suppose if you are a uh, lube oil generally produce 8 kg pressure normally but it may be generate some 10 kg 
in worst condition or minimum minimum pressure is also 5 kg so this should be mentioned in your data sheet minimum 5 normal 8 and maximum 10 kg this should be mentioned in your pressure gauge data sheet now the sec now the ninth point is maximum operating temperature minimum normal and maximum so now if you have a one reservoir of leave wall where there is a heater is installed heater produce some heat for the leave oil to maintain the temperature normal 55 and minimum temperature it may be 35 degree and maximum temperature is 75 so here you have to write down 35 normal is 55 and 75 degree so it is also mentioned in our data sheet of pressure gauge now the design temperature or design pressure if you are writing design pressure for your uh, gauge then you have to check the data sheet of new wall pump if it has design pressure is 15 kg then you have to write 15 kg here if the design temperature of your reservoir is 80 degree then you have to write down 80 degree so this is very important because the process fluid operating pressure operating temperature that is related to your lube oil pump lube oil reservoir so that all point so these all point should come from process side so this is second point now the next point is sensor related which we have to select so type of your uh, sensor may be warden tube this is the warden tube and diaphragm type diaphragm type also pressure gauge and velos type so these three types of generally pressure gauge sensor are manufactured so you can think about any of them then uh, here we are talking about the dive warden tube so sensing element is warden tube and indication in means your uh, pressure gauge indication this is the indication so in which uh, unit you are you want to in your scale of your pressure gauge so this is written here now the scale type analog or digital this is the digital scale and this is analog scale blowout protection required at back blowout protection is also provided back side of your pressure gauge adjusted screw adjusted screw is also provided some pressure gauge where you can adjust this zero adjustment whenever is required over range protection 130 percent of full scale range means if you if you are uh, uh, procuring pressure gauge of 10 degree then 130 percent of 10 degree is 30 to 13 if your pressure gauge is having some pressure up to 13 kg then it will work or it will not get damaged so this is why the overage protection is provided uh, accuracy 1% of the spawn or wetter means if your gauge is 10 kg then the 1% is uh, 10 kg is 1% what is 0.1 so this is accuracy now the next point is construction this is also very important that you have to select what is the construction so this is the photo where you can uh, see some parts of the warden uh, tube case moc case moc this is the case moc what is the material of construction ss304 or it may be ss316 or some other material also you can use as per your requirement or as per your environment now the end process dial moc is aluminium dial moc this is the dial moc is aluminium and uh, dial size 150 yes this is the dial size 150 mm mounting direct back or bottom this is the bottom sometimes pressure gauge are also mounted from back side or sometimes are direct Borden material, this is the Borden material, this is the SS316, this is the Borden material, SS316 or other, other material also you can use as per your material requirement. Socket connection, socket connection, this is the socket, 
this is the socket connection organ or welded socket material as is 316 movement material this is the movement movement material as is 316 scale color it may be black white as per your requirement windows moc glass this is the windows moc and sometime also if you are using some uh, fluctuation in pressure gauge or fluctuation is observed in the discharge of the pre pump then you can also use silicon oil to maintain the range of the pressure gauge now the accessories some accessories are also used in details in uh, our next videos we will see what is the snever so this is the snever this is the snever where you can use whenever your uh, pump is uh, having some fluctuation or you can also use glycerin filled casing and also one tag plate is also provided for the tag number of the pressure gauge and some siphon this is the siphon it is generally used in steam and some isolation wall are also used for isolating the pressure gauge from the process line so these are the five point which we have covered here i'm um, now some more interesting uh, point which are 36 to 42 this is the certificate because whenever you are purchasing any pressure gauge then you require the calibration certificate uh, which uh, done in their factory and also some quality quality certificate is also required because uh, the each material which has been used for manufacturing of that gauge you should have the quality material or quality certificate for all the materials now some warranty certificates also you can also ask to vendor for warranty certificate which may be uh, for one year or two year or three year so it is also very important now the ga drawing ga drawing is very important the whole construction of whole drawing of your gauge and what are the materials and what are the bum is used it may be included in ga drawing now there are some standards for for example en 837 which is used for selection of the pressure gauge so your pressure gauge also should follow some standards so you can also use some standards which your vendor should follow while constructing the gauge enclosure class ip65 enclosure class means what is the ingress protection you want to for your gauge because the gauge is generally installed in open surface open space so the water or dust may ingress inside the pressure gauge so you should also uh, write down some ingress protections class also in your data sheet of pressure gauge uh, last point if you are going for purchasing pressure gauge from a specific vendor then you should also write down the make of that vendor and model also you can write so this is whole topic which we have covered here pressure gauge data sheet which we have discussed here it will be available also on our mail id which is given in description so you can also uh, mail us for taking this data sheet and we will provide this data sheet in excel format where you can uh, download and uh, where you can purchase any pressure gauge uh, for your company or for your industry so thank you very much for uh, watching this video till the end if uh, you are new on our channel we will cover almost all the topics in our video related to industrial instrumentation and if you want to know the some other topics also we will cover here so write down your uh, topics name in comment section so we will also try to make a video on that topic and thank you very much for uh, watching this video till the end